Hey, I'm Lily, and we are going to look at how today we are in a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. As we know from the Bible, Israel was living in disobedience to God. They were violating his commands and forgetting about him in their daily lives. God did send many warnings their way, but ultimately Amos, the prophet, was sent to pronounce judgment. In Amos, we are going to look at only two verses in chapter 8, verses 11 and 12. So it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Amos is letting them know that a time will come when they won't have the word of God with them. They won't hear the word of God. They will be in a spiritual famine. And did you know that this has parallels with us today? And that may be hard to believe because many of us have multiple Bibles in our homes. But let's examine the evidence. First of all, we are living in a time where moral corruption and disobedience prevails, similar to the time of Israel. Second, we don't look to the Bible as our main source of guidance. Many believers look to their pastors or to social media to receive a word from God or some feel-good message that God has our back. The Barna Group reports that one out of six U.S. adults reads the Bible most days during the week. So that's one out of six. And if you put it into perspective, let's say you have a church of 300 members, that will be 50 members out of the 300 are actually reading their Bible on most days. The third evidence we have is this. Children are not being taught biblical principles and their lives are not really set apart from the world. What I mean by that is this. Children are being sent to secular schools, being taught by secular teachers, secular classmates, and again, parents are also busy working or other priorities and biblical principles are not well established in their lives. Let's read some scripture. Romans 12 verse 1 and 2 says this, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now let's read 1 John chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of our Father, but is of the world. And if our children are in these secular environments, what are they going to love more? If they're not having the proper biblical foundation, they will always go towards the world instead of towards the Word of God. The fourth evidence we have is that currently there are efforts to make the Bible appear as hate speech, as discrimination. And you can Google the Equality Act to learn more about that, and I'll share a snippet of it here. The fifth evidence that we have that we are in a famine of hearing the words of the Lord is the following. The gospel message is being replaced by movement, ideas, feelings, and personal beliefs. Some of these are progressive Christianity and new age beliefs. And if you're not familiar with those terms, I encourage you to research them and educate yourself to make sure that you are not getting lost in the sauce with a false mess or a watered down gospel. As we see, we are living in a time similar to what Amos prophesied. We are living in a time where biblical illiteracy is prevailing. Now is a time to decide to hunger and thirst for righteousness. As it says in Matthew 5, 6, it is time to hunger and thirst for the word of God. Next video, I will share some ideas on what to do when we don't feel like reading the Bible. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, but let me know your comments, please. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and share it with someone.